Welcome back, boys and girls. This is the Killer Nacho again, and I have a battle here against Mr. Chabri. And, um, yeah, the NGDL has a bye week next week, um, but he is an NGDL participant, and he's actually a guy I battled a few times on my Twitch live stream before, um, in RU and NU. I actually won last time, but I think he's actually won every time we've done RU. And, of course, he wanted RU this time, and there is the Roserade, the thing that pretty much always screws me over, uh, when I battle him in this tier, but, uh, it would be really nice to win. So, uh, yeah, there's my team. Um, uh, using Barbacol, which somebody told me is, like, great in RU, even though I don't see it. But that's okay. Um, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and leave my Dawn fan. And, uh, yeah, it's a not bad lead because I can Stealth Rock and I can, like, Rabbit Spin. But he's going to go ahead and leave with Blastoise, which makes sense. Mega Blastoise is actually, like, the biggest thing in RU right now. Um, you always really need to account for it. I'm just going to go to my Porygon 2. It was actually, a, um, I think, a more of a physical bulk Porygon 2. Um, but I figure uh, I can take a hit with the Eviel at least one. Um, didn't see what he is going to do. Um, he just goes for the Water Pulse, so um, that's not so bad. And as long as he doesn't get confused, and I still take that like a champ because Porygon too is like the other defensive threat in RU. Actually, the defensive threat in RU. But um, a champ is actually going to be able to threaten me as I just go for a recover, figuring I want my HP back if he attacks me, or you know, getting this thing back to fully full health before switching out is uh, kind of good, because Porygon 2 is obviously really slow. Um, so he does, I do see the Flame Orb, so I know it's going to be a Guts set, so that's really scary. I'm just going to go onto my Dawn Fan to take whatever. Um, I kind of actually went into it kind of like to kind of sack it um, to a close combat, even though I, you know, I couldn't have died because of the sturdy ability. Uh, but now he's just going to go for the close combat, as he should have went the first time. First time he decided just to knock off, which is a good move. Uh, but I actually live the close combat, thanks to Dawn Fan's uh, pretty great physical bulk, and I get off my Stealth Rocks, which is nice. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty cool, and he's gonna go ahead and switch out here into Blastoise. He wants to rapid spin them away, obviously, as I just go for an Earthquake, uh, figuring out I'm gonna get damage on something, and I'm like, okay, I'll take damage on this Mega Blasty. Um, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna keep going for Earthquake. He's probably gonna rapid spin, and I'm gonna make him pay for it. Um, it, well, I mean, yeah, obviously, rapid spin is going to, um, obviously, next turn he's gonna be able to kill my Dawn Fan, but getting this thing, this Mega Blastoise crippled, is honestly worth not having Stealth Rocks in the battle. Uh, at least to me, because Mega Blastoise is a huge threat, so he just goes for the Water Pulse, does kill my Don fan, Dawn fan, but Mega Blastoise has no way to reliably recover its HP, so um, it's a pretty good trade, and I'm just going to go into Raichu now, which actually could actually maybe threaten this Blastoise, but now he's just going to sack it off to me because he doesn't want to take a hit, and that's pretty smart, as I just go for a Thunderbolt to take it out, and Alolan Raichu is actually like PU, but people want me to bring it, I'm like, whatevs. Um, anyway, he's going to go ahead and Sticky Web, which is actually really annoying. Um, now I do have a, I have one Pokemon immune to it. And that's Cresselia, um, but there and Porygon too is not hurt too much by it, so it's not a huge deal. Um, it probably hurts Barbacle more than anything, but whatever. I figure while I do have my speed though with my Alolan Raichu, I'm just gonna go ahead and set up the Electric Terrain. Um, actually, this is probably a mistake, um, and then I'm just gonna go for the Stokes uh, Spark Surfer. Please don't kill this YouTube. Um, anyway, no, I'm just gonna go for this, and obviously it's gonna be sashed and. Uh, it's just going to hit it down to its sash, and this is actually kind of dangerous because obviously I'm going to be taken out by a Bug Buzz, and I just gave this Galvantula electric terrain, so probably not a great display I ever made, but uh, whatever. Good thing I have Zydosh, who does actually kind of get hurt by the Sticky Webs as well. It likes to be fast, but I do have Extreme Speed as well, obviously, on a Twist Band set. That'll be able to easily take care of the 1 HP on the Galvantula, so down it goes, and... Um, Thankfully, I do have my Zydoge here. And anyway, in comes Machamp now, the champ, uh, the green champ, and I'm switching the heck out because, um, obviously, Extreme is not going to be KO, and I don't want to lose Zygarde. So I'm just going to go out of my Cresselia, and I got that prediction correct. I was fearing another knockoff, but thankfully, he just goes for the close combat for the damage, and uh, Cresselia is going to be able to take that with the resistance. Um, but that, wow, that's, I think this is actually EV defensively, so, that, that close combat still does a lot. Anyway, in comes Honchkrow now, which is the biggest threat ever, and I go for the Ice Beam predicting it, and that was amazing, because I'm able to cripple this Honchkrow on switching, and now I have to make another, um, you know, I'm kind of afraid of Pursuit, but I'm like, I'm just gonna switch out, because Sucker Punch is too scary, and I can't give this thing Moxies. Thankfully, I got the prediction right. Um, he does not go for the pursuit. Instead, going for the sucker punch. So that was really critical for me. Um, as now I'm able to go into Porygon too, and with a bulk set, I know I can take a hit and uh, finishes off with either flame or sorry, not flamethrower, um, thunderbolt or ice beam of my choice. But he's gonna go back into my champ, which is a good play. Um, he knows that he can take a thunderbolt or an ice beam from me pretty well, and uh, obviously threaten me 
with a close combat. So now I'm like, okay, what do I do? I have to switch. I have to sack off something. I decided to sack off Barbacle because I can't really afford to lose Dot Zydoge um, or Cresselia. Um, and now I'm thinking, you know, he might just, you know, go for the knockoff predicting Cresselia, and he does. So there you go. And then my Barbacle has the wrong ability. Barbacle should not have Pickpocket usually. Um, so I need to double check on that because it should have Tough Claws, which is. Um, obviously the ability I wanted, but uh, that was a mistake. Um, and I ended up pickpocketing his flame orb, so now I get burned, and that sucks, and I'm able to get some damage there um, before dying, but uh, oops, another mistake by me, but uh, hopefully it won't end up hurting me. I'm going to go into Cresselia now, and I know I can outspeed uh, this Bachamp because I'm, actually, I'm not affected by sticky webs. So I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam, in case he does want to go back into Haunch Crow. It's just a safe play. He's going to Bullet Punch me for a little teeny bit of extra damage, but uh, that's pretty cool. And in comes the uh, Charizard, actually. I'm surprised he didn't go straight into Haunch Crow. Instead, he goes into Charizard, and I'm like, okay, what is this Charizard going to do? Obviously, it's going to be regular Charizard. He can't use any of their Megas. And he ends up being a Z move, and I'm like, oh god, what is this? And it's going to be actually Z Sunny Day, which is interesting, because I believe that increases his speed... Um, which is an interesting set for Charizard because it increases the speed and then because of the solar power hidden ability It's gonna increase his special attack as well. I just go for a Calm Mind and uh, that is gonna increase my special defense though So obviously his special attack is increased and he has the Sun up so any fire move is gonna do um, Quite a bit of damage at plus one in the Sun and I'm like I don't even know how well I'm gonna take this But I know I have Moonlight and because thanks to the Sun Moonlight is actually gonna be able to heal 75% um, instead of 50% um, so Thanks for the sun, man, because I have Moonlight and plus one, and I take that Fire Blast actually surprisingly well at plus one, uh, because, yeah, Cresselia is just a monster. This is the other defensive monster of, of RU. Anyway, gonna go ahead and uh, call mine again now. Uh, I'm kind of content that I can't be too KO'd by Fire Blast, especially with Moonlight. He's gonna go down to Haunch Crow, and um, I'm like, I'm a full HP. Can this thing kill me? It cannot. I live at 39. Uh, thanks to my defensive bulk, and I'm able to take down the Haunch Crow. Unfortunately, he's going to leave Cresselia in a vulnerable position here. I'm at just 53 HP. He's going to go back into his Charizard, but at this point, I've withered down the turns of Sun enough. That, and not to mention, he got rid of his plus one speed. Not that that really matters that much, actually, because um, all my Pokemon are going to be slower than it anyway. But um, Zydoge is going to come in, and I have extreme speed. And you're not going to outspeed an extreme speed unless you have extreme speed which I do not believe Charizard gets. So, gonna go ahead and go for that extreme speed, and um, yeah, it's not gonna quite take out the Charizard, but I'm hoping it's gonna be at least a 2 8 KO. He has the Focus Blast for me. Um, it does over half, but uh, I'm able to get the critical KO here on Charizard. That means his last remaining Pokemon is the Roserade that I'm ever so worried about, and um, I figure that Porygon 2 should definitely be able to handle it after a single extreme speed damage, um, so. I figure I, uh, you know, I figure I hope that even though I'm, I am physically bulky, Porygon 2, I can take one hit from the Roserade and uh, obviously kill it with Ice Beam. I get some good damage there with the Ice Beam. In comes my Porygon 2 into the webs, not that it matters. I trace Technician, not that it matters. And I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. Hopefully, Energy Ball does not KO. So there it is, and I live. Actually, I could have maybe lived too. So, um, yeah, that's a good game there, Mr. Chabry. Finally, uh,. Feels good to finally get an RU victory. Um, and today's question of the day being that it is, you know, winter, you know, tis the season. I just thought, I, I, I don't have any Pokemon related questions. I can't think of any. But what is your favorite season? Like, uh, you know, summer, winter, fall. Um, I'm missing one. Spring. Wait, did I say spring? Spring, summer, winter, fall. You know, you know, the seasons. Although I'm going to Florida actually later today. Um, probably going to be in the air when this video airs. Uh, maybe, possibly, I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, it's not gonna be man, much of a season in there, but, um, yeah, obviously, uh, for me, my favorite is probably spring, because the weather, you know, autumn, autumn, I'm gonna go with autumn, autumn is pretty, and autumn is very comfortable for me, I like it, the weather a little cooler, but not, like, cold, um, so I'm gonna go with autumn, anyway, leave a comment about that, and see you guys again next time, later.